let's keep talking about Article 250. 250.64, grounding electrode conductor installation. We made some small little editorial revisions that I'm not going to talk about. Um, really, and, and again, this, this hats off to Panel 5. Um, one of the things they're supposed to do for the 2023 code is go through all of their articles and make sure that they have the, the correct language as far as like, you know, saying where versus if, right? Where should be a function of location, if should be a function of whether or not something is happening. So, uh, or Codemaking Battle 5, they they took the, the ball by the horns and they went through the whole article and man, they made a lot of small little ed editorial revisions that most people are never gonna notice, but just they make the code better. Right now, I'm not gonna talk about all of those. I mean, hats off to the guys uh, and, and really especially Christine Porter. She killed it on that, on that task. But I'm not gonna cover those in a code change video. The change here in 250.64 is ventilation openings are now addressed. And uh, I hate that we have to talk about this because, okay, let, let's just say what it is and, and let's, let's rip the band-aid off. A grounding electrode conductor is not allowed to be installed through a ventilation opening of an enclosure. Okay, in and of itself, if you have an if you're designing a piece of electrical equipment and you have ventilation openings, you, you probably put them in there so you can have ventilation, right? So what if I only had one ventilation opening in an enclosure? It makes sense that you can't plug it with a wire, right? So yeah, I mean, can the code can the code making panel say, hey, it's okay to run wires through ventilation openings? <laughs> no, you can't say that, right? Now let's just are we off the record here? Nobody's watching, right? The record? Okay. Is it really going to kill anybody if you run a four gauge wire through one of those thousand little ventilation openings? You know, give me a break. But here, look, the code can't say that. So the code has to say, listen, you can't run a grounding electrode conductor through a ventilation opening of an enclosure. So there you go. You can't do it. Um, so it's, it's a violation. Can't do it. Uh, by the way, if you've never, uh, if you're looking at this uh, transformer, never having seen something quite like that, it's only XO, X1. Where's H1, H2, and H3? That is a zigzag transformer, a grounding type transformer. If you've never seen a zigzag, that's what that is. So uh, I didn't want to talk about this at all because it's like I hate this rule, but I understand why they did it. So I thought, you know what I'll do. I'll throw in a picture of a zigzag transformer and then everybody will focus on what a weird looking transformer it is and they'll forget about that rule I just told them where it said you can't run a grounding electrode conductor through a ventilation opening. So there you go. We're going to get into the next video here in Article 250, which is great. 250.70. Love what they did there. That'll be the next video. See you guys then.